Hey y'all, Clint Louie coming to us with five minutes from friendship. It is allergy season. Ugh. I may or may not be using coffee and Hershey's to get me through the day. <laughs> y'all pray for me. But we've been looking at the 12 disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. And today I want to call your attention to a man who's only mentioned four times by name in the Bible. Four times. So what we want to do is look through a little keyhole and see an entire landscape. I call your attention to a man named Simon. Simon. No, not Simon Peter. There, were, uh, there was a second Simon. This is a man called, who Simon called Zelotes. Luke 6 and verse 15. Simon called Zelotes. Who was this man? Well, this is a man who is full of zeal. This is a man full of passion and fire. He's a man full of of zeal, that Zelotes has the idea of one burning with zeal, a zealot, Simon the Zealot. Now, the zealot, the idea of zealot is a political designation. You know, it's like, what do you think of if somebody says communist, Democrat? What do you, what do you think of when somebody says Republican? Uh, what do you think of when somebody says socialist or patriot, whatever the case is? Well, Simon the Zealot. Now, Zealots in Bible days, they were extremists. They were the militant, violent outlaws. These were people who hated Rome. Rome was the government of the day. Rome ruled even over Israel, over the Jews. They hated Rome with a passion. Even willing to go down to guerrilla warfare, guerrilla tactics, uh, to, to assassinate Roman soldiers, Roman political leaders, and anybody else who get in their way, they thought they were doing God's work by getting rid of Roman political figures. Uh, matter of fact, I'm reading here from Adam Clark's commentary, and he says the, the term zealot, it is very probable that this name was first given to certain persons who were more zealous for the cause of pure and undefiled religion than the rest of their neighbors. But... Like many other sects and parties who have begun well, they transferred their zeal for the essentials of religion to non-essential things, and from these to inquisitorial cruelty and murder. So that gives you a little idea. When we talk about Simon called Zelotes, what kind of band of people he ran with? Now, I have no idea how much blood was on his hands. I have no idea if he ever engaged in an act of terrorism. But I do know that, that he was running with that party. That was his mindset. This man hated Rome with a passion. But, oh, what Jesus did for him. Jesus saved this man. Jesus forgave this man. This man gave his heart and life to following Jesus Christ. And you know something? I want to tell you and anybody else who will care to listen today that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He died on the cross for our sins. He was buried and rose from the dead. You, sir, do not have to go to hell. You, ma'am, do not have to go to hell because Jesus shed his blood as the Lamb of God. He is the Lamb of God. And he died for you, was buried and rose from the dead. If you will put your faith in Jesus, faith in Jesus Christ alone, you will be saved if you'll trust in Jesus as your Savior. Simon did. Simon did. Now, it's amazing that his, his passion and zeal for politics got transferred to the gospel work. I'm, I don't believe, I said, I'm an American. I'm a red-blooded, flag-waving American. I thank God for my country. I love my country. You know, one reason, because God has so blessed America. It's a land of freedom and opportunity, a land where we preach the gospel freely. I love America. But I want to say this about it. That I don't want to spend my life just make just only making America a little better place from which to go to hell. What I mean is giving my life to a political cause, you know, like sort of like I'm only happy if I get in a get a certain person elected president. I'm only happy if I get a certain person elected to the Senate or to the Congress or a certain party in power. That's what make and that's what makes me think everything's okay now. No. I want to spend my years getting people to Jesus Christ. I want to do everything I can to, to teach and preach the Bible in America. I believe the Bible will tra transform America, make America what it ought to be. 
And I want to put I want to put the emphasis on the gospel and on the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, I love my country, and yes, I want to help my neighbor, but I want to help you most of all by getting you to Jesus. Simon the Zealot became Simon the Disciple. And I want to say to you, you know, why don't you become whatever your name is and become the disciple of Jesus? Follow Jesus. Follow after him. Serve the Lord with all your heart. Give yourself to Christ. Live for Jesus each and every day. And let the Lord use your life. Can I tell you, you can be a blessing to your church family. You can be a blessing to your neighbor and your friends. And let God use you. Let's get the gospel to people. Let's tell our friends and neighbors. Let's be in the house of God. Let's lift up hands and worship our God. And let's make much of Jesus. And let's go to war against the devil, against the devil in spiritual warfare and take the word of God and let's see people set free in the name of Jesus Christ. So just a little thought or two about Simon the Canaanite. He was the man full of zeal. Have a great day. God bless you.